2 Corinthians 11:24 through 30. Five times I received at the hands of the Jews the forty lashes less one. Three times I was beaten with rods, and once I was stoned. Three times I was shipwrecked. A night and a day I was adrift at sea, on frequent journeys in danger from rivers, danger from robbers, and danger from my own people. Danger from Gentiles, danger in the city, danger in the wilderness, danger at sea, danger from false brothers, and toil and hardship through, through many a sleepless night, and hunger and thirst, often without food, and cold and exposure. And apart from other things, there's the daily pressure on me of my anxiety for all the churches. Who is weak, and am I not weak? Who is made to fall, and am I not indignant? If I must boast, I will boast of the things that shall show my weakness. So, I was going to make a video tonight about this album that Ben from Bat City sent me. Surf's Up by uh, the Beach Boys. It's kind of strange. It's, it's like a cipher for the current circumstances of my spiritual and mental faculties and like the current things that I'm going through and things that I've been learning about myself, and it expresses all those things, both things in the past and the future, and things that have happened recently, and things that have yet to happen, I believe. So weird. How could he pick that out so perfectly and send me something that's like that? I say all the time that things have meaning because when you observe them, you insert yourself into the environment, and it produces the meaning. And the level of your awareness determines how much you recognize that and how much you don't. Even though it happens all the time. And it doesn't mean that it happened and you just didn't see it. It's like the nature of it changes based on your ability to perceive it. Like the, the synchronicities of your life increase over time based on how much you pay attention to them. And I've been paying attention to them a lot here lately. Uh have been making a lot of videos and writing a lot of stuff and talking to a lot of people about this. And so I came across this verse today. I was just kind of come up with an idea for a video. I, d I don't really have the energy right now to make that video I wanted to make. It's going to take time. It's going to take time and it's going to take getting in the right mood. You know, a certain mood that I need to achieve in order to decipher it properly. And I know that if you're watching this, that's probably the video you would like to see, huh? What did you see in the in the weird album cover and in the, the lyrics? And Was it about 9-11? And talk about the, the you-know-whos and the you-know-whats and the these and the that and the this and the this. And what information, what data can you glean from it, you know? And I'm sure I could glean plenty of data from it. I could write another story. I could go into my headspace and pull something else out tonight if I so choose. And maybe I will. Maybe I will. It's up to it's up to chance. It's up to God, you know. Excuse me. That's what I meant. It's up to God. It's as far as what happens with that. But as of right now, I still want to make sure that I made a video tonight just so I wasn't defeated you know make a conscious choice to push forward in this as I have since the beginning because I've been thinking a lot about circumstances and like pieces of media I've seen that have been showing me things you know that are specifically for me and with me and there's a lot of times where they're directly calling me out for things that I'd never told anyone else. Directly calling me out for things that I was ashamed of or, or guilty for or what have you. Things that I knew were wrong with myself. Things I knew that were wrong that I'd done. Or things that I found that were unacceptable within myself, you know? I'll give you an example. There was a song by Jack Stauber. I've been listening to a lot of him here lately. Jack Stauber, if you don't know who that is, I'll show you. I'll go to YouTube. 
can't see. I just listened to it. I'll bring it up here. This is it right here. Oklahoma by Jack Stauber. This is the one right here. And so I may as well analyze it, see if there's some lyrics to it. Uh, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Set the phasers to rot. What has got you distraught? It's negative attention at best. But call it nothing. Maybe it's something a little bit, a little bit. Maybe it's something to do a little bit. It's all about ascension, I guess. Don't put me to rest. <clears throat> Go on and hand me your clothes. Take a picture or two. I can see you. Tears falling down at the party. Saddest little baby in the room. Fears tell me fears don't get me started. I get a little gray hair for every scare you share. So what does that mean for me in particular? Well, it's kind of like this part of myself where I like to complain to people. And I like to get feedback for it, you know. I like to say, oh, man, I'm a bad person. Or <clears throat> this happened to me. Or I feel bad. Or everything sucks and I want to leave this place. Everything sucks and has always sucked. I have no friends. I have no girlfriend. I have no relationship in that way. I don't have any relationship with a woman. I really haven't ever in a proper way. And, uh, you know, I don't have much materially. <clears throat> and I work at a, I guess, I guess you could say a crappy job. I mean, it's, it's okay. It is what it is. A lot of people work jobs they don't like because you have to. In order to do certain things, I mean, you don't have to do anything, but I feel like that it's better it's better to do that and still accomplish things than just give up completely just yet and start walking the roads and being homeless. I'm not quite that at that point yet. <laughs> maybe someday, you know, maybe someday. We'll see. And, well, it made me think about something. I send those kind of emails and messages out all the time. You're like, well, why would you say that out in public? Why would you say, well, because it's just honesty. It's just the truth. I do that. <clears throat> Should I keep it secret? Should I keep it bottled up? Who is here to watch this that doesn't know me personally? In some, even little degree. I think many. And if you are... You likely don't watch these videos to fruition because you would prefer the shorter videos with the uh, stories and the little backdrop and that I've been making, you know. I'd imagine you prefer those. But if you are watching, thank you. And uh, feel free to leave your comment or, like, email me or something or comment and ask for my email. I'll leave my email, you know. Um, and uh, we can discuss something, you know, truth or conspiracy, whatever, I am quite, I do like attention, I do like companionship, I don't like, I don't mean attention in the way of someone that I don't know, like giving me props, or like pretending, or like just general attention, I mean like, I like having close relationships with people, and being able to bounce things off of people, and I have quite a bit of time to do so, I do work a lot, but you know, the time that I'm not working, I generally spend it making videos these days, so, and sending out emails, and checking videos, and commenting, etc., you know, I'm pretty obsessive about it, because I'm pretty obsessive about anything that I get into in that way, video games, and other things were the obsession before, and now I've channeled that energy into this, so, this is like personally calling me out because I've been in situations with other people where they have tried to use me for that. I'm not saying that's wrong. Not at all because apparently it's a trait that I have. I mean, it's not wrong in the sense that like, oh, we're going to hell. It's just part of who I am and like it or not, you know. And maybe I could change it, but right now that's how I feel and that's just how I act sometimes. And uh, I seek to, to become better. But it's like, is it better? 
I gotta think about that. What is acceptable for me from someone else? How am I treating people that I would like to be treated? And I think that I understand why people don't necessarily respond to me all the time. Because I don't really necessarily respond to other people who come to me with the same stuff, you know, who I feel are not on my level. It's like very, in, it's very like arrogant of me sometimes. Like, I don't do it consciously, but I, if I look back at it, I can see it for what it is, you know. Like, I don't accept people because I don't feel like they're good enough for me. And then I whine because other people aren't accepting me because they think that I'm not good enough for them. It's like a cycle. It's like cyclical, you know. It's like a, it goes up a chain, you know. It's like a repeated abuse. And so I think I just have to come to, I think I have to embrace that part of it. And if I do wish to find that sort of, conduit that outlet in someone I have to be able to give the same and prove that I can be humble enough to give the same if I expect someone else to be that humble to listen to me and to respond to me and to be close to me I have to be humble in the same way the same way that Christ was humble you see Christ was above us all Christ was above us all in this world when he came in and yet he took all of the pain, hurt, and blame of our lives perpetually into the future and through the past forever. And he listened to all of our complaints and made a New Testament so that we could actually fulfill an obligation in order to get out of this place. Because previously the obligation was much too harsh. And we could not fulfill it. You know, not realistically. Not most of us. So, this leads me into something else. The people that were here before, they're in the Old Testament, you know, the, 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 uh, the old Abrahamic people, they, they were Jewish, I suppose, if you want to say that. You can define it however you want. I feel like they are mad because since they control the world, they can see back throughout the years. And I imagine it would be pretty irritating if you had spent hundreds of years conforming to this rule set that was given to you by God uh, quite thoroughly and without fail. And then, later on, you know, God comes into the world and he says that those rules are no longer, no, they no longer apply to the situation. And you no longer have to do that, you know. <clears throat> there is a verse about that in the Bible, about a guy who works from the beginning of the day to the end, and he gets paid like one pence, or whatever you call it, one shekel. And uh, he hires some other people near the mid middle of the day and some people near the end of the day. But at the end of the day's work, everybody gets one shekel. And a dude at the beginning of the day that was working is like, you know, dude, how can I only get paid one shekel when the dude that literally started an hour before the shift was to end, he gets paid one shekel too. And the supervisor is like, well, you know, dude, I, I promised you a shekel just like I promised them a shekel. And you were all paid what you were promised. Like, why are you worried about these other people? Why does it concern you? Is that going to make your situation any better by, by comparing, you know? Obviously not. I feel that's the prevailing sentiment behind the rulers of the world in some degree. Like, how dare these people have a way out? How dare these people be anointed by God and be granted this great wisdom and all these great blessings when they had didn't even follow the traditions of Moses? And we follow them to a T forever until the end of time, you know? How can we not have more of a reward than them? And it's like, it tells you clearly in the Bible, like, it's not how you're supposed to think. You need to let go of that. And they never let go. So the question is, am I going to let go of that? Are you going to let go of that? Even in the tiniest ways? Like, no, it isn't one entire system versus another system in a, you know, like reality-wide conflict or like this gigantic 
macrocosmic issue, but since you make up the outside environment, if you have little things like that in your life that you are, you know, feeling distraught over or you feel jealousy, then that is affecting the outside environment, the entirety of reality. It is. It literally is. So you have to keep that in check. And I have to keep that in check, you know. I, I want and ask for some companionship all the time. And I want someone to talk to. And because the old people who I used to talk to online were trash. I mean, that's so bad. I shouldn't say that. I, I shouldn't say that. They're not trash. They're just... <clears throat> that's not who I am anymore, you know. I'm a different person now. And uh, they were into all sort of depravity and whatever the word means. You can, you know, you can, you can imagine. Um, and that was who I was before. And I can't. I, and another thing I come to find is that even though they were willing to speak to me a lot of the time, you know, that it was no. There's no substance there. There's no emotion, there's no revelations, there's no personal, like, feelings and personal, or nothing that I was looking for there. It was, like, dead. I could talk to a dead person. That's basically what it was, talking to dead people. You know, people who are not alive in the spirit, who are just, like, NPCs. That's all it is, like, talking to the dead. <clears throat> Speaking to this, like, lifeless automaton who was made up of the different calculations and programming that's inserted through them and just runs it, and anything that you say, you can almost to a T predict their response, you really can, I mean, <clears throat> that's why I like people like myself in the truth, and my brothers in Christ, because I often am not 100% sure what they're going to say, and that's more entertaining, I'll be honest, it's like, well, you're not supposed to interact with people for, for entertainment, I'm like, come on, dude, come on, brother, you know, brother man, be honest here you know there is a lot of enjoyment you get from interacting with people and certainly I do more than most you know I'm just being honest that's all you can't get what you want and you can't have things way be the way that you want them to unless you're honest now, I don't and one rule pervades above all I don't want things to happen if it gets in the way of me serving God's will I told that to God like don't let any of this crap that I want get in the way if it gets in the way of me serving you and so far you know, you know, Ben talks to me through emails, you know, people comment every so often, whatever, you know, I'm not 100% isolated, but pretty, you know, like 85%, 90%, you know, uh, so apparently right now is the time to be alone and to be changed and transformed away from other people. That's okay. So be it. Even if it's for the rest of my life. Although, God, if you're listening, which I know you are, you know, I would like it not to be that way, if it's all, if at all possible. But if it's not possible in order to serve the greater will of, of God and to further the purpose of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, then it is what it is, you know. But if it can be incorporated into that, I would love to. You know, I love making the videos. I love speaking about interesting topics. I love doing art and writing. And I would love to be able to speak to other people about it at the end of the day, you know. Maybe find someone who's like, who has the personality type that I do, who we can kind of gel and collaborate. But, yeah, that's all for today. Nothing groundbreaking, obviously. But one thing I'll leave you with is, if you want the reality around you to change, you must first change yourself. It sounds so obvious, but trust me, trust me when I say it works, okay? Uh, I've changed my awareness a lot, and the world around me is changing rapidly. Uh, it really is. My perception level is growing a lot. So get off the games. Get off the <coughs> junk if you want, you know what I mean. You know, I don't know exactly what junk is to you, but you know what I mean when I say that. Get off the junk, and you will be able to see more. Focus on the truth, focus on God, focus on creating art, and the awareness will begin to rise. 
you will begin to see more if that's what you want. I think a lot of us want that is to be able to see more and become closer with God. I certainly do. And I think that's a good way to do it. That's what's worked for me. So, yeah. For those listening, I appreciate you. God bless you. Um, I may make something more interesting this evening. We'll see. And, uh, yeah, you know, if you ever want to talk, just comment down below. I'll give you my email, whatever. I'd love to talk. So have a good day, y'all. Thank you.